And we start with the reaction to North Korea's fourth nuclear test. The UN Security Council has been united in its condemnation of North Korea's latest provocative and dangerous act. Experts say it's clear Pyongyang detonated a significant nuclear device, but South Korea and the US say it has not yet been established that it was a hydrogen or thermonuclear bomb as North Korea claims. For the latest, we are going to connect with our Gwonsawa at uh, Seoul's Foreign Affairs Ministry. So uh, let's start with the UN Security Council's meeting. Good morning, Mark. Well, two hours after the meeting, or actually after the two hour long meeting, that is, the U.S. Security Council said that a quote strongly condemned Pyongyang's claim of its first H bomb test. Now, in a statement that they released after the meeting, they said it's a clear violation against U.N. resolutions and a threat to international peace and security. And uh, the 15 member council added it will take further measures against North Korea. And that's expected to be in the form of more sanctions that are already imposed on Pyongyang as it has conducted three nuclear tests before this one, as well as other provocations like long-range rocket launches. Now, prior to the meeting, South Korea's Foreign Minister Yoon byung says spoke with his Uruguayan counterpart and Spanish counterparts Rodolfo Ninovoa and Jose Garcia Margallo, both attendees at the council, on how to respond to North Korea's latest move and asked for their close cooperation with uh, which both of them agreed on. Now, ahead of the meeting, UN Secretary General Pang Ki-moon also said he condemned the act unequivocally and warned the UN is monitoring and assessing North Korea's developments in close coordination with concerned international organizations, including the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization and other interested parties. And so the United States has also been issuing more statements on the matter. Washington is questioning Pyongyang's claim that this was an H-bomb test. Yes, Mark. Uh, White House spokesman Josh Ernest uh, said uh, that uh, early government analysis shows that data from uh, different monitoring sh uh, sources uh, weren't consistent with the North's claim. He said intelligence agencies are continuing to search for more evidence, but there is generally a high degree of skepticism regarding the H-bomb claim, as most international experts are casting doubts. Now, in related news, Seoul's Foreign Minister Yoon byung se had a telephone conversation with U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry some hours ago. Now, both agreed that Pyongyang's test is an unacceptable challenge towards the international community and that they will respond to any provocations. Minister Yoon uh, later in the day is scheduled to report to the South Korea's National Assembly and brief other, other related officials on the latest assessments. Now, before I go, uh, just to give you a brief recap of what happened, North Korea state media reported Wednesday morning that it successfully conducted its first hydrogen bomb test following the detection of an artificial quake a little past 10 a.m. South Korean time uh, near North Korea's main nuclear test site in Pungeri. Now this has been Kwon Soa reporting live at Seoul's Foreign Affairs Ministry and I'll be giving you updates throughout the day. Back to you, Mark.